Hey, good morning. It's Keto Granny. Hey, everyone. I wanted to hop on here this morning to say, no matter what, keep going. Keep going. You are going to reach your goals. If you're, especially this time of year, keep going. What this weight loss challenge is for is for you to get ready to dig in. If you were able to dig in for these past few months and really give it your all, I commend you. I commend you. That is great. But I am not one of those people who has been able to maintain my weight loss during this time just because of the holidays, living, and different things that are going on. So I have to dig in for December. I had gotten all the way down to 230 pounds, actually 229.8, somewhere around there. But I am back up, um, back in my 240s. Like I said, I've been yo-yoing the past month, uh, maybe month and a half between these 10 to 15 pounds, just going up and down the scale. So today is Friday. I'm going to weigh in, and this is going to be my beginning weight um, as far as digging in for December. Um, give it in all I got. So I weighed in this morning. Um, I'm Like I said, today is Friday the 17th. It's a protein-sparing, modified fast day or a keto day along with lifting weights. Make sure that you try to lift some weights, especially if you're doing the protein sparing modified fast. It works a lot better and it causes you to burn a lot more uh, of um, fat off your body because you're not eating fat on these days. If you're doing the protein sparing modified fasting day, you have limitations as to the foods that you're going to be eating. You're not going to be doing fats. You're not going to be doing carbs. And this is going to make you use uh, more of the fat to burn, and it's going to help you keep your muscle and build muscle. So make it a choice. You can do either do protein sparing modified fast, or you can do keto. Okay, so if you want to, on Fridays I'm weighing in, keeping track of what's going on. And on Fridays, we can make this a big discussion as to how the week went, um, things that we learned during the week, um, what we can do to make our weight loss journey easier, what we can do to make our weight loss journey um, better for us, and how to actually keep the weight off and, and reach our goals together. So, decide what you're going to do today keto or protein sparing modified fast and remember ball eggs are a good protein source and they're also a good fat source depending if you're doing keto or if you're doing protein sparing modified fast a lot of people when they're doing protein sparing modified fast they avoid the egg yolks but i want you to know that egg yolks are good and if you do avoid those egg yolks make sure you try to incorporate them into your diet with some other type of dish okay um Eggs are a good source of protein and a good source of fat, and it's a great snack food on any diet that you do. I think the only time that you really have to make the difference is whether you're doing protein sparing modified fast, which a lot of people use the egg whites, or if you're doing keto and you use the entire egg. You want to use meal preps to be successful. I use my meal preps to have things available in the refrigerator for when I get really, really hungry and I want to eat. I have to have something available because if I don't, then I'm going to actually just grab the first thing that I see available in the kitchen or in my refrigerator. So I want to have something there that I can eat that's low carb, that's low calorie, and that's going to fit into my weight loss plan. So no matter what it is, have you something in the refrigerator and make sure that it's filling and make sure that it's satisfying and that way you're going to eat it. And, and stick to the foods that you're supposed to eat. If you're doing protein sparing modified fast, you can do that actually more than three days a week. If you want to do it every day, you can. Um, but then you just have to remember to add in those refeed days every three to four days. Some people go 
um, for a while doing the protein sparing modified fast and then just refeed um, as they can. So decide which is best for you, what is going to work best for you. Uh, put together a routine, put together a plan, and then stick to that plan. What I'm doing now is I am taking uh, my, uh, I don't want to say, well, I'm putting together a plan. And I'm trying to do this every week now, putting together a plan for the week, which includes a plan for the day. If, if you have to plan by the day in order to be successful, do that. If you plan by the week to be successful, do that. Do what works for you and then keep a food journal or a food diary. Keep something that you can write in um, about your journey or about your day that, you know, lets you know where you're at. Write down your feelings, write down the foods that you're eating, write down what you did, and just keep a journal. Keep a journal so that you can look back through this journal. Um, it can help you to progress forward, and it can always help you to not do things and repeat things that were unsuccessful for you before. On your protein sparing modified fasting days, remember that you want to eat the leanest meats that you can. And really... Eat the leanest meats that you can anytime, especially if you're already doing keto because if your body, as your body becomes keto adapted, you want to eat a lot less carbs and you want to eat a lot less fat and you want to eat more protein. So concentrate on that, but then also concentrate on not eating too much protein. Some of us can eat too much protein and it starts to turn into glucose a lot faster for us than it does others. And so that could be harmful. So make sure that you are eating enough protein in your diet and um, sticking to your macros, depending on what you're doing, keto or protein spray modified fast, because there are difference, differences between the macros that you're going to be eating at that time. Big differences as far as the, as far as the protein. Um, I always count your total carbs for your best weight loss results. I have been counting total carbs on some days I know my carbs are going to be high because I may use something like the tortilla and the tortilla that I use um, if I'm not using the egg life or something like that it's the uh, mission tortilla to make some dishes which I did the other day the chimichanga so I already know on that day I'm going to have a high carb day um, because I'm using that tortilla which is 19 carbs total if I'm only counting net carbs, it would only be four. So sometimes when I have that meal, I would expect high carbs, but I also know that um, how many net carbs are in there, and it doesn't really bother me because I know those other ingredients and stuff. Um, you know, I count them as the total carbs. That makes me feel a little bit better on those days because I only do that when mainly I'm having that tortilla or I'm having something that I know is like a more of a, higher carb as far as total carbs go but i prefer to count the total carbs because it makes me still stay under um, my carbohydrate intake for the day at night try to get seven to eight hours of sleep if you have to take a sleep aid check with your doctor but sometimes they will agree to this i take uh, metamucil not metamucil but melatonin at night <laughs> metamucil at night but I take melatonin at night to help me sleep me and my husband and this helps me um, so if you need a sleep aid or something be sure to talk to your doctor and they can give you the best advice as to what you can use and you want to meet eat every day to meet your protein goal eat to meet your protein goal I used to have just a small amount of protein and I mainly focused on my vegetables when I first started off. Now for me it wasn't such a good thing because I started having hair loss. I started having a lot of major hair loss but now I've gotten my hair to grow back. Um, my edges and everything are coming in especially since I have upped my protein intake. So I believe it's very important to have enough protein in your diet or else you're going to have hair breakage, you're going to have nails that aren't as strong so be sure to focus on protein and find your protein um a point or protein goal as far as your intake that works best for you you're gonna have to find your yummy spot we'll call it find your yummy spot you don't want to eat to meet your fat goal or you don't want to eat to meet your carbohydrate goal 
and we all should be at that point uh, unless you're new to my channel and if you're new to my channel I want to say welcome welcome um, if you haven't subscribed make sure that you subscribe to my channel you won't miss any of the videos that I share and join in on my weight loss journey because this is a journey that we can take together and be successful together use intermittent fasting intermittent fasting does work and it's a great tool as far as losing weight decide on an intermittent fasting schedule that's going to work best for you it may not be 11 to 7 it may be 10 to 6 it may be 9 to to five or something like that but find an intermittent schedule that works best for you um, you're gonna have to find something that you can stick to and also you know that you can it can can adhere to and actually do don't pick an intermittent fasting schedule that you're gonna have troubles all the time eating inside uh, that timeline pick something that works for you so since I've given you all of that, uh, I'm going to go ahead, step on the scale, uh, do my weight this morning. But remember, today is Friday, December 17th. It's a protein sparing modified fasting day or a keto day. Give it your best shot. Write in your journal. Keep track of the foods that you're eating. And let's get this done. So have a great weekend and to get prepared for the weekend, make you a mini meal prep. I know you're going to cook some food this evening. Why don't you just make some extra and put it in the refrigerator? And that way you have something available to eat for the weekend. Add in another dish. Add in a bread or add in a, another meat. Have about two different meats in the refrigerator just to give yourself a little bit of variety. But these are all points and things that can help you be successful and stay on track. I'll be talking to you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye. But also today, I'm going to exercise. And when I exercise, I'll record that for you. So join me later on for exercise session, okay? Bye-bye. Okay, so that's my weight, 245.8. I've gained 0.4 since yesterday. And that's where I'm digging in at. This is where I'm starting at. So if you want to start with me, make sure you get your weight today. Okay, get your starting point, which I've already had my starting point. But I want to say, now, I lost that weight uh, before. Like I said, I got all the way down to 229. But I was doing things like the old man diet. I was doing things that really weren't sustainable, um, the fad diets, I guess you could say. And um, doing those type of things, those are not sustainable for me at my age doing that. But occasionally, I do do one meal a day. If it's something that comes natural, do that. But if it's something hard for you to do and you still keep doing it and you reach your goals and stuff, remember that is not sustainability. So for me, I was doing things that were not sustainable. And once I started uh, trying some different things, because I tried to go back to like, not all the way the standard American diet, but I added, started adding in like some uh, regular foods into my diet, you know, trying to switch over to calorie counting, and that didn't really work for me. So I felt like my carbohydrate intake was too high. Because on those days, I did track my meals. And in order to see, and with my carbohydrate intake being much higher on those days, um, that diet didn't work for me. So I went back to doing my keto. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay, I have to teach myself that. So I went back to the keto diet. So if you want to dig in with me, let's do it together and let's go. Mm -hmm. 